Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. So today, guys, I am a little bit behind on um, palettes, but um, some of them are my fault and some of them is because they came a little bit late. But nonetheless, I am excited to be using this palette today, and it is the Fall Magic palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. It used to be Alien Cosmetics. So I'm so excited to be playing with this palette. Um, one shade did come a little busted, um, but it's soft enough that I'm hoping I can press back down in there and it be okay, because it is one of the prettiest shades. <sighs> so this is what the palette looks like. This one is the one that came busted. And I've seen other people's have came that way too. So if you do get this, be careful um, with that shade. So I am going to do swatches first. And I'm going to go ahead and start with this one that was busted because I've got it all over my finger. This one is called Change. So I'm going to try to do all the mattes on my forehead and all these shimmer shades on my cheeks. Ooh. So that one is Change. Then we have Cashmere. That's interesting. Then we have Autumn. Hmm. Magic. Clean my fingers off here. Magic. And leaves. So that is the shimmers. So now we'll go to the mattes. We've got cocoa and spiced. God, these are so buttery. There's cocoa. I mean, it is so buttery. You just picked up all that. <laughs> Here's spiced. Okay, now we have Cozy. Oh, I love this shade. And Earth. Look how pretty that is. There's Earth. Then we have Snug. We have Bonfire and Branch. That Bonfire shade, that red one, was the only one that felt any kind of dry to it. The rest of them feel very buttery. But there's what we have. So it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mats. Looks like we have two shifters, which is these two, and then three shimmers. So that is the Fall Magic palette. So let me get my face cleaned off, and then um, we'll come back and do an eye look. Okay, guys, I am back with a clean face. So now I'm going to prime my eye. I'm using my P. Louise. Just pat that out. With my sponge. Mm. 
Okay. <clears throat> Eat my brushes. Oh, I think I'm going to go for a purpley pink look. Just because that's what I'm feeling. I was thinking the other day I hadn't really done a purple look in a while. Which I don't know how a purple it's going to lean. Once I get it mixed with everything. If you're wondering what I'm putting on my lips, I'm putting the... um. Catrice Volumizing Extreme Lip Booster. It says that it's hot chili extract. I mean, I can kind of tell there's a peppery thing on there, but it's not nothing, so. Nothing major. So, I think I'm going to start with putting my lid shade down first. <clears throat> Because I'm going to put Snug, which is that purple shade, all over the lid. Just like that. Wipe off any excess. And just blend just a little bit. Right in my natural crease. And a little bit above it. Okay, now that I've got the blend started. I'm going to go in. If I can find it, I'm going to go in there we go. I'm gonna take my refer number twelve, which is one of my favorite brushes. And I'm gonna pick up that cozy shade, which was that really pretty pink, and I'm going to blend that in with that purple. So that I can get a good fade going. See how that just fades up into that purple or into that pink now? So nice. And if you want to go back in with the purple to deepen it up some more, you can. But I didn't really see that I lost a whole lot. So I'm not terribly worried about it. Now I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. This is the BK201. It has nothing on it. And I'm just going to hit my edges around that pink just to make sure that it is blended as well. And that is all I need to do for that. I need to get that fallout out. Even though I've not done my face yet, I still just felt like I needed to do that. So now I'm going to take the E37. Don't, no, 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 no. I'm going to take a refer number two. And I'm going to pick up Branch and Bonfire together. That's these two right here. So I've used this one and this one. So now I'm going to use these two. So I'm just going to tap that back and forth between the two. And I'm going to put that out here. Because I want to deepen that a little bit. But I do not want it to be all that chocolate brown. That's why I mixed it a little bit with that red. 
And then I'm just going to bring a little bit into the crease. Just like that. Now I also want to take, while I've got this brush, and run some of that on my lower lash line. It don't don't worry about how far down it's blown out. I can clean that up with a wipe. Okay, so now I'm going to take doo -doo -doo -doo, my refer number 21. And I'm going to pick up Magic, which is this purple shade right here. I'm going to put it out here. On that outer corner. Okay. Then I'm going to turn the brush over and I'm going to go into change. Which is that shade that was busted up. Look how pretty that is. Flipping that brush over to that purple. Oh, I love that. I'm going to pick up just a little bit more of Cozy, which is that pink. And make sure that we don't lose it and that that stays blended right there. Hmm. I just love it. So I'm going to wipe this fallout out. Out, 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 out. And I'm going to take Cozy and Snug and mix them together. And put that in the front part of my eye on the bottom. Mmm. So nice. Okay, so I don't really see a shade that I want to do as a highlighter. So I'm going to go into my highlighting palette, which is the Dominique Cosmetics palette. And I am going to pick up um, Pink Haze. And put that in that inner corner right there. And that just goes nicely. Nice, nice, nice. So now let me get a wipe. Clean some of this up. Okay. Let's see. What kind of eyeliner do I want? Let's go pastel. I'm going to use LA Girl in Lavender. LA Girl does beautiful eyeliners. Just beautiful. 
Okay, so I am going to hop off camera and do my other eye and put some lashes on and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have finished up my face, put on my lashes and done all of the things. This is the final look. I love it. I knew I wasn't going to um, not love it. Um, everything that Unearthly Cosmetics does, I end up loving. They just have such a good formula. And this is such a beautiful color story for fall. I just love it. Um, I hate that that shade came busted, but I was able to just press that back in there. These work. If you have a history with um, Unearthly Cosmetics, aka Alien Cosmetics, if you have a history of using their products, expect nothing less with this one. It is amazing as well. So glad that I got it because I did skip on, um, was it the Witch Palette or something for Halloween? I didn't get that because I had gotten so many Halloween palettes. But I'm so glad that I got this one. And I started not to because I had picked up several fall palettes. But I'm so glad that I added this to my collection. So um, if you guys need to see other looks with this palette, just let me know down below. I'll be more than happy to do that. Guys, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We are hitting right on that 500 mark. And I would love to be able to give this giant giveaway away. So hit that subscribe button. Share my videos out. Let's get it to 500 so we can give this away. I want one of you guys to win all this stuff so badly. So until next time, guys, God bless. Uh, I can't talk. Until next time, guys, God bless, and I love you all. Mm -hmm.